Gavin Carpenter. Anybody in any job, all right, any, any job application, anything where you have wrestling on there, guys, it looks really, really good to have that. So the last thing I'm going to leave you guys with is a little something about desire. All right, so if you think about this, guys, and I noticed this at the Olympics. I didn't get a gold medal. It, was, it wasn't what I got, all right? I, I, I beat the guy that won the gold medal twice before that. I beat the guy that won the silver medal. I beat the guy that won the bronze medal. It just wasn't my time. I walked away seventh at the Olympics, all right? But what I started noticing at the Olympic Games is everybody that looked at their Olympic gold medal, everybody that was on that podium, not one of those people looked at it and goes, you know what, I worked too hard for this. Not anybody looked at that medal and said, you know what, I'm getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning and doing those sprints, you know, I wish I wouldn't have done that. So if you think about it, guys, it doesn't have to be a wrestling gold medal. It can be an A in a class that you want. It can be some car. It can be some job. It can be something that you want more than anything in the world. Think about it. Think about what you want more than anything in the world. Can you really work too hard for it? No. If you truly want that thing more than anything in the world, guys, you cannot do enough work to get it. And that's the message we want to send here with wrestling, guys. This work that you guys did today, you guys worked harder than most basketball players will work an entire season. Okay? In an entire season. So keep it up, guys. Spread the word. Help others. The better your wrestling partners are, the better you're going to be. Andy and I competed at the same exact weight class from 2006 all the way until he retired in 2011. I tore his ACL. Tore my ACL, all right? <laughs> and then I built him up. So again, guys, he's one of my best friends. He's my training partner. He's my coach. He's my business partner. All right, and we competed against one another because I knew the better Andy got, the better I had to be to beat him. And he knew the better I was, the better he had to be to beat him. So we elevated the level. So don't ever be afraid to go with a neighboring school. Don't ever be afraid to help somebody out get better because the better they get, the better you have to be. All right, and that's what we want to do. We want to raise the level of wrestling all around. All right, so I hope you guys had fun. All right, which you guys all said you did. I hope you guys had a blast. If you guys want any more information, again, we're not hard to find. All right, Jake Herbert, Andy Robat, say hi to us on Instagram. All right, find us at Double Leg Ninja. Say hi to us on Twitter. We'll get back to you guys. All right, we're not at the Kobe Bryant level. We just ignore him. All right. Yeah, and Coach, thank you guys for having me. Just don't get No, you stay, guys. I had just as much fun working with you guys and helping you guys out. Uh, every time we do this, believe it or not. Even though I'm teaching you guys, every time we do this, we learn from you guys as well. So every time you give back, you always get back. Uh, and, and that's what Jake just talked about. So um, thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the, uh, the winter and uh, that you guys come back and, and choose to do the sport again. And if you guys like it, invite some friends to do it. Because the only way the sport's going to grow is if you guys have fun and other people want to do it. So thank you. Jacob, 